Okay. So question twenty four, the penultimate question. Um, it tells gives us a non right angle triangle. So our first thought is possibly uh, going to have to use the sine rule or even the cosine rule. That's our first thought. Uh, and then it says something like the area here, so we might have to use this, might find the cosine, cosine rule for area. Okay, have a think about that in a sec. In which case, let's label up this triangle first of all. This is little a, opposite the big angle b, little b. This is little c. Okay? So I'm going to set up an equation. It wants us to find out this length in the end. It wants us to find out little c. But the first piece of information gives us something that could be area. So I'm going to use that formula for the area. Uh, and the area of, uh, of any triangle is given by half uh, half a b sine capital C, and then well, it's really important that with these two sides, and it is in as in this question, although sometimes you have to relabel, you've got a and b are, and the angle is included, which means it's the angles between the sides a and b. So um, we could use another form of this uh, equation, but we have to make sure that the left is right. In this case, it's already set up for us. So if we put in what we know, we know that area is 42. It's a half times a value of A, which we don't know, a value of B, which is 7, uh, and the value of angle C is 70. So what I'm going to do is rearrange this. So uh, if I rearrange this, I'm times by 2, gives me 84, is equal to a times, and I'm just going to squash the 7 and the sine 70 together because we know that we can multiply anyway. So to get the value of A, it's going to be this 84 divided by 7 sine 70. This fraction will be longer. Uh, and that's our value of A. And therefore, if you don't want your calculator, I'm going to give the whole answer because I don't want to round to the end. I'm going to use this answer to do something else. So it's 12.77, just reading off my answer here, 0, 1, 3, uh, I think that's a 3, 3, 2, 7. I will just check that on your calculator. I, I can't read the mystery this digit here, but it's okay. Um, right now, so we know this is roughly 12 centimetres long. Now what we're going to do, we know what this is, we're going to find out this. So what we're going to do is we're going to now use the cosine rule. So we're going to use the cosine rule, again, which is the cosine rule has an included angle, so it's right at the cosine rule. This time I'm going to write it the c squared right now is a squared plus b squared minus 2bc cosine of uh, capital C. And again, I've used it this way around because this angle is included. Oh, I made a mistake here. It shouldn't be 2BC. It should be it. It should be two these sides A and B. So be really careful about that when you set it up. Do, don't do what I've just did. Um, now we're good. So these two sides go around this angle is included, is in between them. Okay, and you'll notice this capital C is always the same as the letter. The, the, the angle here is always the same as the letter that you've got a side of here. So we want to find C squared. Let's put all our information in. Uh, it's this answer here. I'm going to use the answer button on my calculator so I don't have to round it and use a round answer because we're four. Uh, uses the four digits. Plus B is 7 squared minus 2 times, I'm going to use the answer button again, this time not squaring it, just going to have normal A, times B is worth 7, times cos of 70. So I just tap all of that in my calculator, and I get, just so you can check your digits, um, I get 150.929 Nine three zero four four. Okay, I want to find the value of C, so this time we're going to square root, and this time we're going to use answer different to the answer above. It's going to be this answer, and using not the same as this answer up here. Calculator's now got this stored, so when I find the square root, 
it's going to be, and again, I'm writing the whole digits out to start with, show the examiner exactly what I'm doing. 12.285.32.883. Um, uh, it wants the answer to the correct of three significant figures, so we've got 12.3 is our answer to three significant figures. So I've cut it off there, that eight rounds it up. Okay, quite a long five mark question, and we've got to be really confident with sine, cosine rule in the area formula here for the area of the triangle too.